Is that is that close symbolic of protesting the prison system? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last week, no more personal calls. I know, I like the picture. Okay, great, thank you. I think ours have like one way to do this. Yeah, that's right though. They don't want to get out of there. They're all going to be slack. Yeah, yeah. I don't talk to you. I swear, all the reporters get mad because they're getting in trouble. Yeah, I want to take a picture of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 package 
would give a one-time only $250 payment to seniors and disabled people receiving SSI. The state wants to cut SSI, taking more than $300 away from that same person. How does that help our seniors? How does that help our communities? when well, we're taking away the same money that the federal government just gave us. We're asking all of us at the state level, we're asking our Congress members to step in and make sure that these cuts don't happen. Let's not hurt our communities anymore. There are other ways to fix holes in the budget besides going after the same low-income people over and over again. This morning, First, I want to introduce to you Council Member Richard Alarcon. Good morning. I'm here to join with the partnership to send a message to Sacramento that it's penny wise and pound foolish to make these cuts, to pull the trigger. In this particular case, we have an opportunity to define the federal allocation as $10 billion from the stimulus package. That stimulus package will pay for a lot of things, but the choice is up to the governor's office and the treasurer's office. If they say that the, the allocation is $10 billion, then they will essentially be allocating a portion of the money that comes from the stimulus package directly to preserve this health care for poor people in our community. If they say it doesn't qualify uh, and they will pull the trigger, then basically what they're saying is they would rather spend the federal money on other things, like transportation and other critical needs. Well, of course, we need transportation improvement. But I ask you, what is more important in terms of enhancing the livelihoods of California citizens than health care. What is more important, fixing a road or saving a life? What is more important, giving comfort and health care to senior citizens and the poor or making it easier for somebody to drive to work? These are tough choices, but I stand very firmly on the side of the people who need health care. I also believe that this is an industry that needs to be enhanced, not, not destroyed. Healthcare is a growing industry. It is an industry that will not go to China or anywhere else. It will remain here. The jobs that are provided for in healthcare are a way out of this bad economy. If anything, we should be investing more in healthcare and providing more dollars for more people to be employed in an industry that pays a good wage, like healthcare. Not only would we get the benefit of preserving lives and making lives more comfortable, but we would also create a better economy. It seems to me that President Obama gets it. He recognizes that in order for stimulus to work, people have to be able to spend more money. I'm concerned that the state government doesn't get it. They think that if you take the federal money, that somehow that preserves their ability to operate. But in fact, it reduces the ability for California citizens to spend. Therefore, eliminating the benefit of the stimulus package from the federal government. Well, let's not be penny wise and pound foolish. Let's do the right thing. The right thing in terms of the poor. The right thing, thing in terms of senior citizens. The right thing in terms of the children that will be cut from services. The right thing for California to stimulate the economy. We will get to the infrastructure needs somehow, some way. But there's no greater improvement that is necessary than in our health care system. Now is not the time, it never is, but certainly now would be the worst time to divest from the medical, medical infrastructure. We need to improve California's health care, not take away from it. I call on Bill Lockyer and, what's his name? Mike Janest. And Mike Janest. <laughs> Seems like I was just there yesterday. And Mike Janest to make the right decision. Do not pull the trigger. Do the right thing for the people of California. Make them healthier, make them safer, and stimulate our economy. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Next, we're going to hear from William Cho, uh, a senior uh, with the Korean Resource Center. Hi, uh, my name is William Cho. I'm U.S. citizen. I'm senior. Uh, 제가 미국에 온 지는 거의 30년 됩니다. It's been about 30 years since I came to the U.S. 오늘 특별히 저도 영어 할줄 알지만은 나보다 더 영어 잘하는 우리 젊은 친구를 대전에 나왔습니다. I can speak English pretty comfortably, but I would also like to send this message to our the Korean American community. 제가 미국 올 때는 유럽에서 교수 생활을 했습니다. When I was um, before I had lived in Europe uh, uh, teaching as a professor. 그때 제가 uh, 자식이 하나 딸이 딸 하나 있었는데 그 아이가 미국에 와서 공부하기를 원했습니다. And I had one child. I had one daughter, and she wanted to come to the United States to study. 그래서 큰 꿈을 안고 그 딸과 제가 둘이서 미국에 왔습니다. So with this big dream of establishing ourselves in the United yeah, States, 꿈을, we moved here. Yeah, 꿈을 이뤘습니다. And I think we have accomplished that dream. Yeah, 우리 딸도 지금 활약을 잘하고 있고, 저도 그 동안에 잘 지냈습니다. My daughter is settling in, and I'm, um, I, I feel I'm having a very, uh, successful life. 딱 지금 그러나 지금 저는 어 상당히 어려운 입장에서 어 SSI 그 케이스 그 혜택을 받고 있습니다. But now as a senior. I feel um, much trouble in in my uh, current um, in my current health and social benefits. 특별히 제가 그렇고 말이죠. 농내장 농내장을 가지고 있습니다. Right now I have a IDC. I have a, a current glaucoma. I disease. 그 왼쪽 눈 I disease. 아 왼쪽 눈 이미 벌써 잃었습니다. And I already lost sight of my left eye. Blind in that. 네? 왼쪽은 완전히 보이지 않죠. I left my sight completely in the left eye. The blind. 오른쪽 눈이 이제 간신히 그 시력을 유지하고 있습니다. And while my left eye is blind, my right eye, my right eye has the minimum eyesight to be to maintain myself. 네, 저는 이렇게 생각합니다. 무조건 무슨 혜택을 정부를 향해서 달라는 것은 아닙니다. And this is what I think. We are not demanding the government to give us just unlimited uh, amounts of benefits. 네, 우리 모든 시니어가 그동안에 나라를 사랑하는 마음으로 열심히 일했고 세금도 냈고 헌신을 했습니다. A lot of us seniors, when we are young, we work really hard to maintain, to build up this country, 이, 이 to 나라입니다. contribute to this country, and to uh, build a better society. 네, 예, 나라는 자... 예, 가정과 같은 시스템이다. 가정의 시스템이 큰게 나라입니다. And I believe that the country is like a big family. When you expand this a family structure uh, into a national scope, then that's a nation. Okay. 그래서 시녀는 마치 uh, grandmother이나 grandfather이나 grand uh, mother, uh, grand uh, mother and father is just like that. So seniors in this society are just like our grandparents, our own grandparents and grandmothers. 야, 국민이 이 예, 어, 조부, 조모, 아버지, 어머니를 모른다고 하면 그게 어, 그 나라가 어디로 가겠습니까? So if, a, if, a, if your grandchildren or your children say that they don't want to uh, sustain your grandparents anymore, if they say that they are not family members anymore, where would that country go? 특별히 지금 캘리포니아의 그, 어, state government people들은 아주 잘못된 방향으로 지금 달려가고 있습니다. And I believe that they uh, the state government of California is here in the wrong direction in yeah. terms of public social services. Yeah. 모든 시니어는 올 솔저와 같습니다. 늙은 병사와 같습니다. 늙은 병사 같다고요? 올 솔저. So um, all seniors are like uh, age, aging, uh, aging soldiers who retired. Yeah. 늙은 병사는 결코 죽지 않습니다. 그때 뭐라고 말해요? Yeah. All surgeons never die, only gone with the senior budget cut of medical or some etc. 
So I, I strongly oppose any cut to the medical or SSI budget. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
we're, children are our future. But when push comes to shove, though, they, they're ready to cut us first. Now, if you look at the, the budget, let's see, where we, where can we get the money? Can we get the money from the military? No. We're not going to get that from them. 50% of our taxes go to them. No. We're going to keep that. Are we going to get money from the prisons? No. We're not going to get money from the prisons, so We'd rather have our children go to prison. They're looking at our test scores, our children's test scores, though, at third and fourth grade, and they're seeing, oh, wow. Or he can't read, she can't read. Okay, we're going to build a bed for them in prison though, 10 years from now, because we're betting that they're going to be in prison. So, this is our future right here. And so put your money where your mouth is, though. This, this money comes from President Obama and the federal um, stimulus package. Let that money go into the classroom, to health care, to the teachers, keep the teachers there. All right? We need to retain our teachers. So. Now, not all teachers and people are ready to line up to work at Crenshaw High School or Dorsey High School, or LA High. The retention rate is low. I mean, uh, you, you look at 50% of the teachers leave. Remember, last year was my first year of teaching. And right when I finished that first year, some teachers were asking, you know, hey, Mr. D, are you, are you coming back next year? I was like, yeah, I'm coming back. But not everybody did, though. That year, teachers left. They were like, oh, I, I can't handle this. You know, being in a low income and neighborhood, though, neighborhood people of color, though, people, a lot of people can't handle that. And so the money that, that's used right now or is used for teachers that want to be there. And now if you take that away, the teachers that want to be there will be gone. And then people that may not want to be there, that may not even want to teach, will be there. They're going to be serving our children. And this, is, this doesn't just impact Crenshaw, but it impacts the middle schools, the, the elementary schools as well. I mean, when we get our um, children though from Audubon Middle School and from, from the other elementary schools and middle schools, they, they come to us already lacking the skills. Now you're gonna take away the teachers that they have then. Now when they come to us at Crenshaw, though, we're gonna even be working even harder with less teachers, less counselors, and less resources. Now we're gonna say yes to our future and all to these budget cuts. That's right. Thank you so much. We'd like to hear from Maritza Galvez um, from the Youth Justice Forward. Yeah. Woo! Um, 가사 보조 그러면은 임금이 삭감이 돼요. 임금과 시간이 삭감이 되기 때문에 많은 어.